everybody. Today we are going to be turning a black car white. Um, I recently did a Photoshop tutorial on this um, and a lot of the tutorials out there for car color changes um, involve you know hue saturation changes and some other techniques that work really really well for turning you know blue car or orange or whatever. Unfortunately they don't work very well for black and white cars especially turning a black car uh, to white. And so um, I figured out, I mean, I, I basically uh, introduced a really simple way to do it in the Photoshop tutorial I did, and then I immediately got some requests to do the same thing for GIMP. So here we go. Today we are going to be turning this beautiful 1967 um, Camaro uh, white. So the first thing we want to do, of course, is to cut out our shell. And a lot of people look for the easy ways to do this, and uh, it changes with every picture. There really is no easy way to do this. So um, GIMP does have some neat little uh, tools to cut objects out. If you're a masochist, you can use the, uh, the freeform lasso tool. Uh, the magic wand is only going to work for us if we've got a really defined color that stands out from our background. It's got this, GIMP has this neat little tool here, uh, the scissor tool. It's kind of like a combination between the polygonal lasso tool and uh, an edge finder. Um, unfortunately, it's not going to work here because the uh, specular here is too close to this gray in the background, and so it's going to give us jagged edges. Um, GIMP also has the foreground extraction tool here. It's pretty neat uh, because all you have to do is drag a real rough outline around your foreground object. Um, you don't even have to be real close. Then once you let go there, you paint in uh, with the secondary tool the parts that you know are absolutely foreground. And it's basically telling GIMP, look, this, this is the foreground object, uh, which is inside the original lasso that I drew and it just gives GIMP a little bit better start to extract that object for you. Then once you get that all painted in and let go, it's going to attempt to extract based on what you gave it. Unfortunately here this is also not going to work because down here we've got a little bit too dark of a shadow that matches the dark of our car. And again the specular highlights over here are matching this gray uh, concrete background a little bit too much. Um, if it were to have worked once we hit enter at this point, it gives us our selection and then we can copy and paste as needed. Um, so uh, control shift A to deselect everything. Uh, you could use the pin tool also, which is what I used in the Photoshop tutorial. Uh, the pin tool is nice because it allows you to, uh, once you click, you can click and drag and make nice little curvy objects. Um, for this particular tutorial, what I'm going to go ahead and do is just uh, manually elbow grease my way through it. So what you would want to do is grab your lasso tool and drag your rough outline again. Don't even worry about being uh, too uh, exact with it. Control C, Control V, we're basically going to paste that into a new layer. Um, what I like to do when I'm working with these is to create a uh, plain white uh, layer and put it behind everything. That way when I'm checking my stuff I can have a nice solid white and if I'm erasing stuff and I missed a little nugget over here it's going to show up real real nicely. Um, so there's our pasted layer. Unfortunately with the, uh, the recording software it's not letting me drag layers uh, like I like to so I'm going to be clicking down here to move layers around just in case you're wondering why I'm doing it the long way. Um, so we've got this pasted layer here and at this point you just want to grab your eraser pick a brush with a nice hard edge uh, hardness all the way up and then you're just basically going to go around I guess it helped if it was fully opaque okay you're basically going to go around and remove everything you don't want you're going to want to take a lot of time with this uh, because that's really what is going to set your picture out from the rest of the crowd um, and even like zooming in and figuring out where your line is um, obviously when you're zoomed into the pixel level it's harder to see where your line is so just be prepared to zoom out and say okay you know the antenna goes here so I know that my line of the car is going to be here and then zoom in and you know you can follow that line I like to zoom way into the pixel level because my hand isn't very steady with the mouse and I find it easier to draw a, a smoother, straighter line if I do it this way. And so you can keep doing that. Um, 
once you have that, I'm not going to obviously do it on the video or we'd be here all day. Uh, so I do have one here that I've already done. Um, so there is the, the first cutout that I did. Uh, you want to get rid of the bumper, you want to get rid of the tires, and we're going ahead and we went ahead and got rid of the wheel wells as well uh, because we um, want to leave those black. Um, just a color preference on, on my part. Um, and as you see that we've got a nice clean outline around the whole body. The detail on this is going to be the most important part and the, and the hardest part of the project for you. Okay, so once you have that, you actually want to go through and uh, start erasing these interior parts. Okay, you obviously want to go around the mirror. Um, you want to get rid of the windshield. Uh, you want to get rid of the headlights and the grill. You want to get in real close and start getting rid of the the uh, the logos because we're going to want to leave those little nernies on uh, to add detail back into our our uh, photo later. Um, pretty much everything that is not part of the actual paint of the car you want to go ahead and delete at this point and once again I've already done that for you so here is our completely cut out uh, car um, as you can see we got rid of the grill the logos are all gone uh, the bumper is gone windshield I even went so far as to get in here I've deleted the uh, the windshield washer uh, the nozzles the uh, windshield wiper bases uh, where the mirror was, we got rid of that. Um, we're ready to go at this point. So what we're going to do now is we'll go ahead and turn our background on and select the uh, the one with the cutouts. This is the easy part that I was talking about. All the cutting out was the hard part. So we're going to go to our colors and we are going to um, first desaturate. Uh, the reason I'm doing this, I did not do this on the Photoshop tutorial, um, but if I go immediately into the uh, the lightness adjuster and try to crank it up, it gives me all this weird noise around here. It did not do that in Photoshop, and I'm not sure if it was because of another car, uh, another picture, or because of the way Photoshop handled it. Excuse me. So what we're going to do first is just go in here, and we're going to desaturate our... Uh, our car there and lightness uh, I find that changing the options here doesn't really give me much different picture so we'll just pick lightness and go with it at this point we have a nice um, I don't know if you can tell on the video but there is a subtle difference there okay so we've got our desaturated shell and we are going to uh, then go into colors desaturation and we're going to grab that light the lightness slider and just slide it all the way up and uh, depending on the picture you start with, you may have to bring it back down a little bit. You may have to add some other tweaks to get it looking just right. But if you look, as we bring that black up, we're not losing any of our uh, reflections. We're not losing our specular highlights. We've got a nice uh, white base here to go with. Um, also, a lot of times it comes out looking a little bit too gray. And the easiest thing to do with that is just to uh, go back into colors and get to your brightness and contrast and we'll bring the brightness up just a little bit and even bring the contrast up just a hair and that's going to give us some nice uh, blown out whites as a lot of white cars do have those kind of reflections right now don't worry about all this um, sharp edges and stuff down here we'll address that in a second so as you can see just with those two little adjustments the lightness slider and the uh, brightness contrast slider uh, we've got a nice white looking paint job so what do we do about these areas under the car here? Obviously, if you look, you know, the, the black under here is a nice shade, and we just don't have that with our uh, lightened result. So what we're going to do is you could get the uh, Dodge Burn tool. You could get, you know, just a black paintbrush and start painting shadow, shadow back in. What I like to do, since we started with a black car, is just grab the eraser tool. The reason I like the eraser tool is because we already have a nice glossy paint job with black with uh, nice specular highlights and nice uh, reflection detail and all that stuff so it, it serves as a perfect foundation underneath the white for us to erase and we still match the uh, the details on the cars uh, paint job and reflection so we're going to get the eraser tool we're going to pick the softest brush we can get we want as little hardness as possible um, we'll go ahead and crank that sucker down to about a quarter um, opacity and then bring our brush size 
nice and up to a, a larger size. I'm a keyboard freak, so that's why it's taking so long. I apologize. Okay, so at this point we want to start just sweeping a little bit. At first I don't even touch the car because sometimes the brush will uh, get out of its own bounds and I'll make it ugly and I don't like undoing. But as we get closer to the car here, um, we're just going to start seeing, I don't know how well it shows up on the video, but a nice little line of shadow uh, appearing under the car here. Okay, you want to do that a few times until you get it looking just the way you want. And what's really going to add the detail here is if you go in and you actually go in and shade in all of the areas that look too white. Um, what that's going to be is here around the windows, um, around the logos, around the door handle, around the mirror, just anything you want to stand out a little bit right here in the, uh, in the windshield wiper and uh, squirter. Uh, areas. Anything that you think should have a little bit of shading on it, we're going to hit with that eraser. And we're going to be subtle about it. We don't want to, you know, just erase and have a black car hanging out under there. But if you just go through and give it a nice little shading, you'd be amazed at how much difference it makes. And what I've done is um, I have the previous iteration when I was practicing for this video. As you can see, here's the, the original lighten adjustment that we did. And then I went through and I made some uh, erasures like I was just telling you about. And if we compare that before and after, you can see that it adds a whole lot of detail um, just adding those shadows back in. And that could be, you know, considered finished product. You can go through and you can add more detail. Obviously, I didn't get the shading just right here under the uh, under the windscreen in front. Um, but uh, you can go through and do all that on your own time because it would take forever to get all that detail crammed into this video. Uh, but the point I wanted to get across is that it's really easy to turn a black car white if you just play with the lightness slider and the uh, brightness contrast. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, uh, feel, please feel free to leave them down below, and I will get back with you. Thank you. Have a good day.